There's a new way to stream music for free on your phone. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Spotify's mobile app has been set free. No longer do you have to pay $10 a month to stream music on the Spotify apps for iOS and Android. You can listen for free with ads. The tablet version works just like the desktop version. It lets you handpick specific tracks you want to listen to on demand. But there's a catch with the free smartphone app. You have to listen to your songs as a random shuffle. You can't pick what you want to listen to. Spotify also announced that Led Zeppelin's catalog will be exclusive to the service. You know, Spotify is in need of a whole lot of love. It still lags behind Pandora in subscribers, even though it's available in more countries than Pandora. <laughs> Dell is joining the Google Chromebook Club with the Dell Chromebook 11, which is not to be confused with the HP Chromebook 11 that came out a few months ago, both of which have 11-inch screens and run the Google Chrome operating system. Dell is focused on selling its model to schools. More than 5,000 schools now have Chromebooks in the classroom. They're designed for doing most work online and with Chrome apps. That makes it a good secondary computer for families. This Dell Chromebook will be priced under $300. HP's Chromebook cost $280, but it was pulled off shelves in November, which was a month after its launch, due to a problem with overheating charger cords. You may remember earlier this year in March, Facebook showed off a redesigned newsfeed where everything was huge on the screen, including photos, status updates, even advertisements. And you could switch between viewing different types of posts, like you could just view recent updates or just photos. Well, it turns out most of the 1.2 billion users still have the old layout, and it may stay that way. Facebook has been monitoring the small fraction of users that have the new design, and apparently Facebook didn't like what they saw. According to a report from All Things D, a source says Facebook is going back to the drawing board. If you're not the Christmas card sort of person, but you still want to send holiday greetings to your friends, you can do so with the help of Google and Santa. Log on to google.com slash Santa Tracker to help Santa send a personal voicemail to your friends, which can be shared via Google Plus or on email. The messages can be silly or sweet, and Santa will even say your name. That is, unless your name is Bridget. Apparently, he doesn't know how to pronounce every name, so I had to pick a nickname. I think I'll leave Santa a book of names next to his milk and cookies this year. That's your tech news update. But you you can find more details at cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.